Very good afternoon, everyone. Welcome, Ms. Surbhi Sachdeva from Delhi 4.5 Sheraton, Delhi Airport Highway. Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you today? Good afternoon. Thank you so much. I'm very well. How are you doing? I'm very fine, ma'am. Thank you so much that you have taken out your time for today's sessions. And I'm very um, like proud to take your interview because uh, you are, I think, heading the front office, assistant manager front office. Yes, thank you, and I'm glad to be here. So, ma'am, before starting the interview, let me let me have a discussion about the hotel. Where is the location? How the hotel is doing? Sure. And how you are taking the customers like for the generation of the business? Perfect. So, uh, this is this hotel brand is Four Points by Sheraton. It comes under Marriott Bonvoy, and it is uh, you know the location is. in delhi gurgaon highway so it is easily accessible and a very prime location for the hotel so here we have a clientele like we have a lot of transit trips transit is the guests who have a connecting flight or who just come for one night two nights stay with us and then we have a lot of wedding guests as well as we have got huge banquets here so we organize a lot of wedding functions and corporate events as well so you know it is one of the best properties to work with and it is the largest in terms of area it is the largest property in delhi okay so ma'am what is the like the total room count you are having your room inventory ma'am how many rooms you are having in this hotel one and it is spread over 11 acres of land so we almost run sold out every so being the in the front office is very much mm -hmm. so ma'am since uh, we are part of jb institute of hospitality management and we are having our hotel management mm -hmm. students so definitely the viewers mm -hmm. who are upcoming hospitality professionals say they want to know like why front office is chosen by you means there are other departments so why this department is chosen by you so you know front office is the face of the hotel when a guest enters the hotel when our client comes to the hotel the first people they meet is front office so if you are a people people for you like to help out people and you have very good communication skills soft skills front office is the best department you should go for it so these are the basic skills required uh, grooming is very important communication is important and you know you need to make people feel welcomed when they are at your hotel so this is the basic thing So, if you are people's so, person, you should definitely join front office. So, someone who is interested to interact with people with good communication skill, grooming, and definitely a body language personality, so they can opt for this department, front office, right? So, yes. how did you started yes. your career? Means you are a hotel management graduate, started your career from there, right. or some other passion? Yes, I am a. I am a. pass out from ihm dehradun so it, it is institute of hotel management in dehradun okay. it is a very beautiful college it did develop help me develop my personality i did learn a lot of things there after that my first job was at itc morea so i worked there for good 3 4 years i had a very good experience with front office department from idc morea you do learn you know there are different aspects in front office it is not just check ins and check outs it is also guest relations you have to make the guest feel like they should come back to you back to your hotel and stay with you they should feel homely because you know most of the time there is corporate travel and they just need that comfort zone which is most important so yeah that's how i started my journey from I, uh, itc morea post that i was working with a government company it's called the vapcos limited uh, it was also a very good experience however after a couple of years i realized i want to move back to the hospitality mm -hmm. 
plus three. I'm here at four points by Sheraton now. Okay, so how long you have been here in this property? In this property, it's just been four to five months. Okay, so you're also a new member with this group. New member to four points, yes. Yes, yes. So man, and like I'm Trump, loving it. The family is really good. Yes, definitely. So, ma'am, this brand uh, value. So, I think the front office is the first point of contact where they are creating moments for the, you know, the guest. So, the right. brand value. How right. do you create? How do you create it? How do we create the brand value? So, whenever the guest is here, you know, we. Treat, him, treat them with namaste. Namaste is an Indian gesture for respect. So majorly foreigners, they just love this gesture. And, you know, they pick it up also. They also start wishing namaste to everyone. And then we put amenities for our guests in the rooms so that they feel special. So we have got some welcome amenities, which has a couple of pastries and you know, some chocolates in it. So, you know, these are the small touch points which make them feel better. And we offer them welcome drinks and, you know, we just take care of their all their needs. So that they feel welcome and comfortable and want to come yes. back again and again, right? Okay. Yes, because we and need more, more at the end of the day. Definitely. And definitely you have to convince your guest when they are rigid on their part sometimes since the corporate clients you're handling. So is there any experience, ma'am, you want to share yes. for the viewers? Any situation you dealt with? It was a difficult situation. You convinced some of the guests. Any difficult situation. Mm -hmm. You remember? So it happens a lot of times. So today morning only, there was this guest and she was not feeling well. So, so she called me up. At the reception, I spoke to her. I said uh, she wanted to see a doctor. So I just spoke to the doctor. However, the doctor was far. So he was not available at the moment. If he would have been here, it would have taken him a couple of hours. So I went to see the guest. I got him, got her some, you know, lemon water. And because she was vomiting since morning. And I made her speak to the doctor on call. And then we got her the medicine, like whatever medicines were suggested by the doctor we sent a car we ordered the medicines for her we take we did take care of all the expenses and then we sent some fruits to her room we offered her a late checkout and end of the day now she's feeling very comfortable and she's very happy with the services and her health is also fine so you know these are little touch points yeah. if you take care of your guests they'll definitely remember you and they'll come back to you Yes. So, so that's how we also sorry. feel when that's how we also feel when we go to the hotel and far away from our home. So we also feel right. somebody should take care of us, right? It's like our right. right. <laughs> yes, it, it is like a home away from home. Home away from we home. We try to make our guests feel that way. And uh, like I just uh, want to have some idea about your loyalty program, ma'am. I think. You also have a loyalty Certainly. program for the guests? Yes, the loyalty pro program which we have is called Married Bonvoy. So uh, for the enrollment, it is a complimentary membership. So there are no charges for it. Just a few details are required. That is your contact number, your email address and your residential address. Just with these few details, we can enroll you for the Married Bonvoy membership travel program. So Marriott Bonvoy has over 8,300 hotels all over the world. And the benefits which they provide us, they, you know, you get priority for early check-ins, late checkouts, and then they have this option for mobile key in their Marriott Bonvoy app. So, you know, uh, when you check in into a hotel, people tend to misplace their key. But then with Marriott Bonvoy, you have the key in your, you, you know, the key gets activated in your phone itself. So you don't need a physical key to access your room. You can just use your phone and access to the room. So this is a new thing which they have introduced. Apart from that, you can actually chat with the hotel before actually arriving 
to the hotel according to your preferences so that they can keep your room ready accordingly and this membership has uh, different levels starting from a base member you become a base member as soon as you stay one night with any of the marriott properties when you stay for a marriott property for 10 nights you become a silver member and when it becomes 25 nights you become a gold member and 50 nights you become a platinum 70 nights you become a titanium and 100 nights you become an ambassador member so every tier has a different you know benefit to attach to it so that's the loyalty program uh, i can explain further if, so you know if you are an yeah yeah okay. no that's what i'm asking like it is throughout uh, the world any of the married property the guest is traveling he as, yes. according as yes. per the nights he is spending so he is getting the numbers like the points the, right he is getting the reward reward points which can reward later points. on be utilized for complimentary stays so oh, you know when you have yes when you have earned a certain number of points you can book a stay on points itself so you do not need to spend money for a stay and then very you good can for use the corporate travelers yes yes very good in fact right. for anyone who has this membership it has benefits only no disadvantages only advantages so do you have a separate department for this or front office takes care of this loyalty program no friends front office takes care of the loyalty as well okay so we have got a loyalty manager Okay. Uh, but it's a part of front office team only and all our team is aware of it and they take care of the same right so for the viewers for the students who are the upcoming professionals any message you want to say why they choose hospitality industry to grow up their career right see after covid i believe uh, during the time of covid hospitality industry was going very low but post that you know due to the increasing population and num more number of hotels are opening all over the world it's not just about india all over the world the population is increasing and hospitality is increasing day by day so anyways uh, even in corporate sector hospitality is required these days so hospitality as a career is a very good path and you should go for it and the career ladders are also quite you know fast where you can grow up fast yes yes it is very easy to grow up faster in this career in this industry if you make Thank this you. choice yes so any uh, like uh, for the viewers i am saying if you have any other questions or anything you want to know about front office or any other section of hospitality you can always write in our comment box so that we can answer you Okay, ma'am. So we will take a leave. It would have. It's a very uh, interesting chat right. with you, session with you. We will like to take another session very soon with you, where we can get some other information about front office. So, anything from your part, you want to sure. give us a message? Our institute, um, JBHM. You want to say something? Of all the best to all your students. and have a you know bright career ahead i'll always wish for this any time you're coming down to kolkata please do visit us certainly i'll do let you know whenever i'm there thank you so much it was okay. lovely talking to you